Well, Duncan, congratulations. You're through to the semi-finals. Yeah. Um, did it a difficult way, didn't we? Didn't uh, really start in the first half at all. I, don't, I can't even put my finger on it. Um, hence to say, we had to say a few words at half-time. Um, and they come out and they responded. But, you know, they, I want them to respond themselves on the pitch, you know. I felt they, you know, they looked tentative. And I know there's a couple of, when it was early on, there was a couple of boos. And I'd seen a couple of players' heads sort of drop a little bit. And I'm thinking, I don't want this to happen like, you know, it can happen and, and put them off the actual, you know, put them off the game. But in saying that, you know, even against the run of play, because I thought Chase Town played really, really well in the first half, certainly the first 25 odd minutes. But then I look at uh, the chances, and I think we still had chances early doors um, against the run of play. And I'm thinking, now oh, here we go again, it's going to be one of those again. And then, you know, obviously the second half, we, 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 we had a, ch a good chat about how we wanted to play it differently in the second half. I wanted to play them in their third of the field, I wanted to just keep a higher line, stop, stop dropping off as we dropped off in the, in the, first, in the first half. And then, yeah, it just went to plan. And I always felt we were going to score a goal. I mean, goals always change matches, but that first goal seemed to completely change things, didn't it? Because once you've taken the lead, from yeah. there, within the next 10, 15 minutes of play, you could have gone 3 4 nil up. That's what happens. But then that's when you've got to take your opportunities. I mean, Danny Mitchley and Paul Connor could have had probably about six goals between them, if not more, to be honest with you, between them tonight. Um, but yeah, it did change. It did change the game. And then fair play to Chase Town. You know, they never give up. They come back at us. They scored a goal, uh, and you know they kept going. And I, you know, I just knew we had to score another goal. And in fact, I just even know at two one, I thought I said to Paul at the side, "We need three goals here." I just want three goals to make sure it's beyond. And then again, we had so many chances towards the end again, didn't we? You know, to, to score more. And you've got to take. You've got to start to take those chances. You really have because against better opposition, um, you know, they'll punish you with mistakes at the other end. So, but I was, I was happy. I was happy with the second half performance, very much so. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? When you play Luton in the next game, you'll probably not get as many chances over the two legs as you perhaps got tonight. So you've got to take chances. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, they're they're a good outfit, Luton. I'm no, you know, when we played them down at their place, although it was controversial, you know, we had a man sent, we had Fozzie sent off, didn't we, the skipper? Because before that, I don't really think there was much in the game, to be honest with you. Um, but we're not fearful of. Uh, I'm not fearful of Luton, and my players won't be fearful of Luton. And we're going to go into this as underdogs, aren't we? You know, and uh, it's nice to go in as an underdog sometimes, to be fair. Um, so I'm looking, relishing the, uh, the challenge on Sunday. And what about Danny Mitchell tonight? He had to come into the side in the, the place of Louis Malt. He, he got himself a goal eventually. As you mentioned, he could have had chances earlier, but he, he kept going and at least got his name on the score. Yeah, sheet. I mean, his movement, if you look at his movements, he's got great, great movement. So you know he's been cultured and coached. You can see that. I just want to convert... I want to convert those p positions he gets into into goals, into goal scoring opportunities. Because I think a couple of times, you know, I just said to him in the dressing room there, when the goalkeeper, you know, he doesn't stand high and he goes to the ground early, just clip it over him and just, you know, think about doing things like that as well in your game. But no, I, I think the boy worked his worked his um, his socks off tonight, and he got his, he got a great goal. To be fair, his run his run into the into the six yard box was fantastic. And I'd just like to ask you as well whether you think Alan Marriott might be ready by the weekend. You've been cautious with him so far, and he stayed on the bench. But by the time you play Luton at the weekend, might he be ready? To Poss start? Possibly again, they'll be you know they'll, be, they'll give them a day off tomorrow because we've got so many games coming up thick and fast. They'll be in again on Thursday, and we're gonna have to see how he feels again on Thursday. He's, he's day by day with Alan at the moment, and I have to just sit down and talk to him before we train, and he, and then after training, he lets me know how he, how he is and when he's ready and when Alan Mark tells me he's ready I'll know he's ready it's your time Duncan congratulations thank you very much thank indeed you. thank you on the injury front Louis Malt has he got a chance Louis Malt yeah yeah I mean Louis Malt uh, he hurt his back um, against Tamworth and it's been playing him up the last few weeks really and uh, we left him at um, Stoke to get treated there by obviously his physio knows him really well and I think they're going to get him to see a chiropractor um, and obviously um, you know They've advised us not to play him tonight, you know, for for, for medical reasons. So yeah. I, w I wouldn't do that. So I've got to I've got to take the advice of the medical team. You'll next see him on Thursday. You expect him in on Thursday? Oh well, without a doubt, yeah. Danny, congratulations. You you got your goal in the end, and blimey, you needed it at that point, didn't you? Two one up in the yeah. closing stages. You needed the third. We did, yeah. We we were working hard all game. I had many chances. I was seeing through the game. People saving them. I was hitting them over. Maybe it was just a bit. I was a bit rusty, but I'm, I'm made up to get the goal and just. Glad to get through to the next round. It was actually a great finish. Super ball in from Paul Connor. First time. I mean, you, you looked as if you'd done it all night. I mean, having missed a few chances, you've kept your confidence all, haven't you? Yeah. Well, I, you know, Paul's always going to get in them positions, and he he always looks to to set up. He's a very unselfish player. And I was made up when he passed it to me because I should have passed it to him once in the first half. He should have passed it to me, so we were a bit like that. But I was delighted he passed it to me and just made up to to connect well and get in the net.
I was going to ask you about that. At the end of the first half, there was an occasion when we were screaming at you to pass mm. it to Paul Connor, and I wonder whether he was just punishing you after that because he went on a run himself yeah, and, mate, and shot on goal. I don't think he's like that. I, he, he said to me it looked like it was a bit tight in there, so it's just one of them. you just got to get on with it. Things happen on the pitch. Were you beginning to wonder whether it might actually happen for you tonight when you'd had a couple of chances just before half-time, a couple of chances just after, and it just wasn't going in for you? No, it wasn't. As you can see, I was, I was sort of lashing at things. The keeper was getting at me, at my feet quick, closing things down. And I was looking up to the sky thinking, give me a chance and eventually it came so I was delighted yeah because yeah, you've got your chance tonight because of the injury to Lou Malt and it's put you now in the semi-finals yeah. of the FA Trophy Wembley just a sniff away well yeah it's two games away I don't see why we can't go and beat Lou and we're going to be the underdogs but I think as you've seen out there tonight we've got great attacking attacking options we attack well as a team so I don't don't see why we can't go and beat them because even if Lou Malt's back fit now your performance tonight, your goal tonight, you're like another manager's door, you want to play in those games? Yeah, I, I want to play as many games as I can. Some, sometimes it doesn't happen. Um, you've just got to keep working hard, working hard in the table and trying to keep your fitness up. Um, that's, that's what I've been doing, so yeah, I just want to play as many games as I can. Hopefully I can be picked on the weekend to play. Great stuff, well played, Dave, thank, thank you. Very much. Adam, well played. Uh, an untidy start to the game, but uh, matters not in the end, I suppose. No, I mean, we knew they were going to set their sore leg like that. We knew the first half an hour of the game was going to be um, hectic and they were going to put us under a bit of pressure, um, which they did. And um, like we said in the changing room, if we could weather that, then um, we could impose our game onto them, which we did. Um, obviously, the goal came at the right time and I think we were comfortable in the end. Well, it completely turned it, didn't it, actually, your goal? Once you'd scored that, you all suddenly looked a bit more comfortable and you got more chances even then before half time. Yeah, definitely. I think, I mean, this season when we played at home, there's a lot of expectation from the fans. Um, and when things ain't going our way, they're, they're, they let you know it's not going your way. But um, I mean, it's a big club and they've got the right to expect a, a winning team here. Um, so you can so, understand that a bit more tonight, though, can't you? Because it was, oh, yeah, it was a bit clumsy and you can expect the. Definitely, definitely. But it was never, like never going to be a, a pretty game of football tonight. And they, they made it like they did. They made it horrible. They got in our faces and didn't let us play. So you give credit to them. But. Um, no, it, we knew we had to weather that, but we knew that was always going to happen. Um, and we, we said it yesterday and we said it today, and uh, in the end, well, I thought we were comfortable. You could have had so many more goals in it, and you could have had it sealed by half time, by an hour. You know, you can, you can go on, you could have had so many more. You need to be more clinical, don't you? Finish these chances off. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think a, lot, a lot's been made of the, um, our defensive situation that we leak silly goals and that, but. If we um, if we put half the chances away, I mean we do score a lot of goals. So if we put the other half the chances away that we've missed, then um, I think we'd end up with games nine four and things like that. <laughs> but you're right, we create the chances, and that's a good thing about this team. Even if we're leaking goals, we always know we're going to um, create chances and score goals. Um, so we've just got to work that. It's on Sunday. I'm just thinking you might get fewer chances against a side like Luton than you got against Chase Town. So when they come, you, you might need to be putting those away. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, Luton are a, a very, very good side. They're one of the strongest in this league. So um, we, we keep saying when the chances come, we've got to put them away. Um, and it's going to be one of them days on Sunday when we, we do get a chance. We've got to make sure it counts. Do you mind that it's at home first? Does that matter? Um, personally, no. At the end of the day, it's a game of football, isn't it? Um, I think we'll have a, a decent crowd here Sunday, so it'll, it'll be good to get off to a good start and um, hopefully get a decent result behind us um, and then go down there and you know, get what we can. Is it important that you get a lead here to take down there to protect or is it just a bit of a lottery? <sighs> it's a cup game, I mean, any, anything can happen. Obviously, a, a lead would be nice to get, um, but then sometimes you get, a, you get a lead and in your head you want to go and sit, sit back on that lead. So, um, at the end of the day, it's two games. We've got to give everything we've got and see what happens at the end of it. How important has this competition been for you this season? Because with the league form stuttering somewhat, this trophy campaign just going along and that dream of Wembley at the end of it has just kept things alive, hasn't it? Well, that's it. And it, it at, the end of, at the end of the day, it's um, the carrot at the end of it's Wembley. Um, and any competition where, where that's your goal, yeah, it's, it's very important to you. Especially the way it's... Um, our season's been going this year, it's, it's obviously not gone to plan. Um, but still looking at the table, and we spoke about it yesterday, we've got a lot of games in hand, and if we win them games, and we're not out of it yet, and the lads haven't given up on that. Um, but yeah, it's our next game, and it's the most important. Christoph, well played, Adam. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.